Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a pick a card that you, something you need to hear at this time, okay? So I'm going to throw three different cards. You're going to choose between these three options, okay? So power one's going to be the High Priestess of Earth. Number three, uh, pile two, you're going to choose the card Trapped. Number 34. And then pile three, you're going to choose the card Rigid. Rigid. Number 30. Number 30. Okay, so three, 34, and 30. All right, I just want to do a pick a card and um, see what your spirit team needs you to know at this time. Guys, don't mind me. I have, I'm a little bit nasally because I've, I've got some little head cold that I got recently, so... I hope you don't mind, but I do sound kind of like garbage right now. Um, okay, so let's find out. Pile one. Let's get some messages from your spirit team at this time. High Priestess of Earth. Holy Spirit, tune me in. I'd like to know clear and concise, accurate messages for pile one, please, at this time. Okay. All right, let's see, guys. What's going on with you? High Priestess of Earth. Hmm. I'm noticing that she's like really naked in this. She looks very vulnerable. I feel like you're learning something about vulnerability, like how to express yourself a little bit more creatively. I'm feeling like you're going to get seen and recognized soon because you uh, express yourself a little bit more. I heard femininely, like you're going to be expressing yourself. Maybe you're getting a tattoo. You're doing your hair differently. I'm getting something like you're announcing to the world that you're different because of your physical body. Like it could be you're wearing contacts instead of glasses, something like that. We have the King of Pentacles here. So again, we have High Priestess of Pentacles and then we have the King of Pentacles. So let's see what's going on, Holy Spirit. What do you need to know at this time? The devil. Yeah, well, that is the world of materiality, the devil. The lower world, the 3D, right? Earth. Yeah, see, I think you're coming to to recognize that you're actually really great at manifesting in the physical world if you're a little bit more expressive. I feel like um, you're allowed to feel the words that you speak. You're allowed to... Um, I, I feel like there's some sort of sensuality that's happening with your words, with your speech, with your movement, with your body. And... Um, this is going to get you everything that you want um, in the 3D matrix. This is going to help you manifest when you can express yourself this way. Um, the Ace of Wands. I feel like I feel like you guys are beginning to be able to see how you can mm, live in this world, not of it, right? But like you're allowed to have these carnal desires. You're allowed to have the things that you want, right? Yeah, Four of Wands. Hmm. What's the message here? What do you need to know? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like you've been building something for a while, but it hadn't it's not gonna come in until you're you're expressive about who you are. Like there's all this There's all this materiality that you're supposed to be acquiring, you're supposed to be having, but the problem is that you haven't been speaking your mind and you haven't been bold in, in vulnerably sharing what you're about. And that's the problem. That's why you couldn't receive um, the fruits of your labor. Because I see you've been putting in hard work here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You're soon going to have something to celebrate. Let's get more messages here. Confirm the devil, please, spirit. What do you need to know? Why's the devil? Four, yeah, four of pentacles. Like, you're allowed to be selfish. You're allowed to be like, I want this. I, I need this. I'm craving this. It's mine. You're, you're allowed to claim shit. And I feel like that's pile one. Like, that's the energy here. You're going to start claiming stuff that you want. Two of cups. Maybe it's a partnership. Ace of wands, two of cups here. Could be a romantic partnership with the four of wands. You're going to be claiming something. That much I see. 
And it's like, it, it is what you want. Like, whatever you want, you get, right? Oh, the fool. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You've had, like, all this um, good karma stored up, but you, you hadn't been able to unlock something until recently. And I feel like it's, it's the fool energy. It's you taking a risk on being more expressive. Okay. And the eight of pentacles, please. What have you been working on? Judgment. Yeah. You've been, I feel like you got all your ducks in a row and, and, and finally you're able to shoot the arrow. It's like you've been pulling the arrow back, but finally you're about to let it launch and you're going to hit the target. Okay. I feel like the missing piece, the sun, yeah, the, what what you needed clarity about was that you were allowed to express yourself this way. Like, it, it's actually good. It's good for the soul. It's good for the spirit. It's good for your 3D physical world. You needed to express yourself like this, okay? Let's get a couple cards here from this oracle book. What's, what's coming in for pile one here? The unexpected. Exactly. I feel like these are unexpected emotions. These are unexpected ways of um, announcing yourself. Your energy is announcing itself before your words even do. And um, I feel like that's the same with your body. Like um, if you're getting a tattoo or your hair is different or your eye color is different. Something about it's unexpected, but that's why you didn't get all the good shit that you were owed. Because you weren't doing anything that was rocking the boat. Do you know what I mean? Um now that you're willing to shake shit up, and I'm definitely getting a tattoo here on this woman's back too. So it's all about tattoos are important. Um, now that you're willing to shake shit up, now you're going to get what it is you're, you're wanting. What it is you've been wanting for a while. But you had to shake shit up. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's get one more card here. Assessing. Yeah, you're, you're no longer assessing and overdoing it on the overthinking. Like, I have to hedge my bets and I have to make sure that it's methodical and strategic. No, that's that's not how you're going to win this next phase, guys. You're not doing it like that. Um, you're done over assessing things and you're just doing it. You're just claiming like, but I want this though. And I also think there's um, an element of you not caring what other people want. <laughs> And if they say it's the devil, you're like, I don't care. I want the devil then. Or like, if it's a bad thing, it's it's like, who says it's bad? You do. You're the one that says it's bad. And if other people come to you and say, oh, that's bad. You shouldn't want that. I feel like you are doing it anyway. I really do. I feel like you don't care what other people are thinking about you right now. And that's how you win the game. That pile one, you're about to win because of this. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's all. Is that everything? Is that everything you need to hear? Six of Cups. Yeah, whatever you've been working on for a really long time from the past, like, this could be a soulmate, though. I do see the Two of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Um, if this is somebody from the past that, like, you didn't want before, and, like, people people were telling you, oh, you shouldn't want them, or whatever, they're the devil. This is you saying, I want what I want, and that's it. Judgment is here. It's your it's your divine judgment. It's what you want. It really is what you want, and that's, that's what I'm seeing. You guys are, you're done overthinking, and you're just about to claim that you want it. Ace of Wands again. Here you got Ace of Wands twice. You're about to claim it. You're about to claim it. Like, that's mine. That's mine. So, wow, guys. Yeah, that's the message I have. I hope it helped. And if you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hello, Pile 2. Those who chose the Trapped card, welcome to your reading. Hello. Let's get a message from Spirit that you need at this time, okay? Let's get, let's get a card here first. What's going on in your energy? What's going on? What message do you need? I heard hope. You need hope. You need hope in something right now. Finding. Are you going to find it? Are you finding hope? People find hope in you, but are you finding hope in you? transformation. I don't think you guys are understanding how far you've come. Like you're not as trapped as you think you are, but it's like you feel hopeless in whatever situation this is. I'm feeling like you feel hopeless, but you're not realizing how powerful you are. Happiness. Yeah. 
Hmm. I feel like you're finding happiness in your transformation. Like if you would just sit down for five minutes and think about how how exciting life could be, I think you'd find a lot more hope. But I'm seeing like you guys, you guys are getting stuck on how something isn't working or how you don't think it's going to work. You don't think it's going to work. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for pile two. What do they need to hear at this time? Hmm. Let's see. The Hermit. Yeah, I feel like you guys are doing a lot of introspection right now. You feel trapped, you feel alone, you feel isolated, but you're not realizing how far you've come and that you don't need to feel like this anymore. Three of Wands. Going on here, spirit. Temperance. Temperance. Yeah, you've done a lot of healing, I feel. A lot of healing. I feel like you're recognizing that you give so much to other people, and now it's time that that be returned to you, but you're not. I feel like you're not socializing enough. I feel like you're not putting yourself out there because you feel trapped. It's like you're looking at the how, and you need to stop doing that. Okay? Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy. You're looking at the how. I heard the how isn't going to get you paid. That's what I just heard. So somebody, you could be looking for a new job. The how is not your, your matter. It doesn't matter. Um, the how you're, you're supposed to just be saying I'm, I'm paid and seeing a check come in every month. You know what I mean? You're, you're not supposed to be figuring out the how the how is not your business when it comes to manifesting. Why do you feel trapped here? Seven of swords. You might feel like someone's lied to you. Someone convinced you of something. It's like the devil convincing you that you're trapped. You can't see clearly. You can't see a way out. Eight of Pentacles. Something about work. Like you think there's so many um, doors that have closed that you're not able to open any of them. It's not you that would be opening anything, honey. It's the divine. It's the divine that would be giving you this, right? What's the Father of Cups, please? King of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're shifting gears from the Father of Cups energy to the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you're both, but you needed to see that you're not going to get what you want in the Father of Cups energy. In the King of Cups, that's not going to get you what you want. You're going to need to be much more in the, um, I didn't, almost said deceptive. I meant receptive, but we have the Seven of Swords, which talks about deception. So you're going to need to be in the energy of receiving instead of giving. So I feel like you were giving emotionally, and now you're going to be receiving financially, receiving uh, materially, right? You're, you were not in the right energy, and so the universe needed to kind of change you from the Father of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. They needed to change you. So something needed to happen to get you in this energy. What happened here with the temperance? What happened? Why did the divine do this? How did you do this? Nine of Cups. It's like the universe showed you what your wish fulfillment is. And then instead of you just claiming like that's mine, that's my wish fulfillment, you instead believed that you had to do something for it. And that's where you're getting mi mixed up in the how. It doesn't fucking matter the how. The how is not your business. You just have to claim that the, the future, the reality that you saw is the one that it's the only option you have. It's the only reality. But it's like the universe gave you a little taste of something that you wanted and you liked. And I, I think a lot of you might have thought that it was like pulled away from you or something. It's not. It was just your higher self laying it on your heart so that you could claim it as your own. It's already yours. It's already yours right now, currently. The moon. And I think you're starting to discover this, that it's already yours. What's the moon here? The Four of Swords. There's a lot more peace if you would just claim what your soul is telling you to claim. Okay, there's so much more peace if you would just grab it and say, this is mine and I want it. And it's there on my heart for a reason and boom, that's it. Um, but again, I feel like in the middle of the spread, you had to go from the King of Cups to the Mother of 
pentacles, the queen of pentacles. So your energy had a completely shift. You might have received the nine of cups. Like you saw a glimpse of something you wanted, but you needed to transform in order to have that thing. Okay. So even though you were trying to manifest it, I feel like you were speaking a lot. You were affirming a lot, even though you did that. It's like, I feel like you kind of shifted timelines. You went into that timeline where you had that thing that you wanted and then you jumped out of it again. That's why you feel trapped. You feel like you're in a different timeline where you don't get to have that thing that you wanted. But I'm telling you, you do get to have it. You just have to claim it again and again and again and keep saying, that's my reality. That's my reality. No matter what the 3D shows, you need to keep saying, that's my reality. Yeah. All right. Let's get a, let's get an Oracle card here. Any other message for pile two? fruition exactly it's all coming into fruition it's just that you had to you had to realize that your timeline is possible but you have to claim it and i don't think you claimed it enough i don't think you thought that this beautiful whatever this divine promise is i don't think you thought that you could have it for real for real so it seemed temporary it's almost like you got booted out of a timeline that you wanted mm-hmm beginnings yeah it's like it's like um what i'm getting is you got a little bit of t a taste of something it was the beginning of something good and that it ended and that it ended because you weren't claiming it accepting it yes you were not accepting it acceptance here you didn't accept that this was god's gift to you okay it's like it's like you're not claiming that enough and that's why it looks like you're trapped and like there's no option it's because you haven't selfishly claimed this and when I say selfish, I don't mean like in a bad way. I mean like it's yours. It's your reality. You're allowed to have it fucking be about it, right? You didn't know. So the universe had to take you from the king of cups, which was not conducive. The, the energy you were exhibiting before was not conducive to getting your, your wish fulfillment. Now you have to be in the queen of pentacles energy. Okay. And that shift already took place. But the, the issue with pile two is that you're not claiming that brand new reality is yours already. It, it's like you jumped into heaven and then you got out of it. You got kicked out of that timeline and having the thing that you want. So you're not really trapped. You're allowed to see that that reality is yours and you're allowed to have it and you're allowed to claim it and you need to keep claiming it. It's not like a one-time thing. You keep claiming it, right? So don't, don't feel trapped. Don't feel isolated. Don't feel scared. You're allowed to have this. You're allowed to have what it is that you want, but you got jumped out of a timeline where it was happening for you. So if you guys want a personal, all the information is in the description. I love you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm, the sniffles. I got the sniffles. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Um, I have the sniffles today. I live in Nebraska now and I was in the Arizona fucking dry heat. And so my, my body is like trying to adjust. So, um, let's see. Hi guys. If you'd like a personal with me, all the information is in the description down below. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Um, I also have Patreon for $8 a month. Tons of pick -a cards over there. If you're interested, um, that, that's for more like entrepreneurs, twin flames, coaches, things like that. Rigid, let's find out. Holy Spirit, what is going on with pile three? What do you need to hear at this time? I heard someone idolizes you. Ooh, sovereignty. Okay, I'm hearing someone is like really looking up to you right now in your power. Man, you are like a fucking powerhouse. I heard a brute. You're a brute machine. I feel like somebody wants to tell you that they think you're like the everything, the bee's knees. Like, I don't know. This person really admires you. Let's see. Power. You can't make that shit up. We have sovereignty and power. They are intrigued by you. Someone is intrigued by your rigidity. Yeah. The number 16 could be important. You could be born on the 16th or the 30th. Or maybe 41 years old. That could be important here. Wow. Wow. I, I just feel like somebody is like, wow, pile three. You're like never changing. You're never changing. You are rock solid. That's what I'm getting. Like, you are fucking brute. And they really love this. I don't know who this is, guys, but they really love this. Give me one more spirit before I get into tarot. 
creation. Hmm. I feel like somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. Um, make your dreams a reality. But you're already making your dreams a reality. So the sun. I feel like you don't really need this person's help. But somebody does want to create with you, okay? Um, you're getting a lot of cancer energy here. Pisces. Taurus. I heard Taurus. Okay, so so what is going on here? Man, somebody is really into you. Let's see. Oh, the, Jesus. The Emperor. Could be a divine masculine that's into this. It's it's your it's your emperor energy that's got somebody so in their head about you, okay? The devil. Somebody feels okay, an emperor, a divine masculine magician here, it feels like they need what you have. They need the strength that you have. The brute strength. I'm hearing that. Brute strength. And you have four major arcana in a row. Somebody feels like you have really great boundaries and you're sharp. You're a sharpshooter, okay? And they feel like they need to work with you, to collaborate with you, to learn from you. Mm hmm Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the Chariot. Oh, my God. The fifth major arcana here, guys. This person is so into your, like, laser-focused energy. You don't let... I'm hearing there's no hiccups. You don't... You don't take a day off. You don't... You are just all about that... That... That hustle culture. Man, this person really thinks they need you. Okay. Why is the devil here? Four of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this person thinks they overdo it a little bit too much on something, like overindulging. And they really need to quit that. And they think that you would be good to help them quit that. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Like you'd be helping them hold back, not give so much to people. You'd, you'd be really great at helping them with boundaries. Why do they want to come towards you? Ace, they love what you're about. I'm telling you, Ace of Cups, the lovers. Some of you, this might be even romantic. Like, they might want a romantic connection with you here. They they think you're just a brute. That's all I'm getting. Like, Nine of Pentacles, hella independent, hella focused. Your eyes are on the prize and you're not stopping. And this person thinks that they could learn from you. That you could really teach them some things. Whether you want to or not, I don't know. But you do need to know that there's a mentor. You're going to be a mentor to someone else. And they want to work with you. Um, is this going to happen? Is this actually going to happen, though? Father of Pentacles. You need to know that if you do do this, there will be a lot of benefits in it for you as well. Because whoever this is, they are the King of Pentacles and the Magician. So they know how to also be successful it's just that they they're struggling to do what you do okay so i think you're gonna do this i think you're gonna want to take this on let's see pile three are you gonna take this offer it does oh shit it does benefit you is what i'm hearing the fool i do think you're gonna take it hold on like i just threw all my cards okay so i do see that you're gonna want to take it um because they have uh, you know you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that this person has a tough time setting boundaries, but once their boundaries are set, they are a powerhouse. And you are good at boundaries. And so this kind of looks like a match made in heaven, but I don't know if you're going to feel that way. Um, let's see. Two of wands. I feel like right now you're, you're really cautious about working with this person because you're like, can, can you keep up with me? Can you keep up? Queen of Cups. Hmm. I think that you're going to believe this person's a little bit too passive and they're not as uh, formidable. Oh my God. I just heard that. Formidable? I'm going to have to Google that word. They're not as formidable as you. So, Ten of Wands. Like, I think a lot of you think that this person's going to be a drag on your energy, like a, a burden to you. I just see you wondering if, if you guys are really a match. You got the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. So it's like, I don't know. Are you going to do it? I feel like you're going to take this offer. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is that here? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Listen, I see you guys struggling with the idea of bringing somebody into your project right now or whatever this is, this company or 
an idea because I think you think they, they lack this like forward drive and ambition. You might think they're still hung up on their past six of cups in reverse. So what's the advice here? Son of a biscuit. Knight of Pentacles. I keep throwing cards on the floor. Hang on guys. Yeah. The card that fell was the eight of Pentacles. So, um, I feel like the, the advice is to really make this person work for it. Like show you a plan, show you what it is that would benefit you. Okay. Because look, the people I read for are so empathic and we're so giving and we're so overly generous that it actually is our detriment. Right. And I think that right now you guys need to be very methodical in letting this person work with you. Like make them fucking prove it. Like, they better have ideas that you have and then have them better. Do you understand? It's like, you've got amazing ideas and you're really set. You're very rigid on this plan of action. But if you want to take somebody on as a plus one, you need to make sure they fucking know your your um, vision. They, they have the same work ethic. They're not attached to shit in the past, right? Father of wands. Like, you need to make sure they are laser focused and driven just as much as you are, right? So I do think you're going to take this, but what's the advice from here to there? What are you going to do? Let's see. Page of Wands. You're definitely going to communicate with this person. There will be a lot of messages. It doesn't feel like... Um, it doesn't feel business-related messages. It feels almost more like, how are you? Like, what's your energy like? Or... You know, um, this, this is more like just getting to know somebody like in a flirty way, not so much business, but I do see that you, you're going to be messaging this person a lot soon. Mm -hmm, judgment so that you can gain a better understanding of what they're about. Okay. I'm really getting, do not let this person, um, ruin this event or ruin this project or ruin this plan of yours before they add a whole bunch to the plate. Like they have got to add a lot. They've got to better your life. Otherwise, I don't see why you would even have them in this thing. Okay. But the messages that are going to be coming in, you're going to need to use discernment here with the judgment. You could be dealing with the Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Heavy Aries here with the Aries, <laughs> with the Emperor. Um, Capricorn, Gemini energy as well. I feel like you're a little bit closed off, but I don't think that that's going to be the way forever. What's this person going to do to convince you? Pile three. Three of Cups. They might talk about something else, like a plan that they had that didn't go right with a third party. And I think they're going to be telling you like they disconnected with a third party or, or some sort of... I definitely feel like it's a connection that is ending in their life. And if it's not a connection, it could be like a business deal that went south and they're leaving a business deal. What else? Yeah, King of Wands, Knight of Swords. I feel like I feel like the message here is that you need to make sure this person leaves everything behind for this. And if not, like I think you're just going to move on cuz you've got it set. You have got whatever this is, this is about to happen in a way that is just beyond glorious. Like you are set for success and I see that. But it's like the, the failure that could happen only happens when this other person gets in the mix. So the advice is make sure that this person is as laser focused as you are in your plan. Okay. In your project, because you, you don't want this fucked up. You know, you don't, you're, you, you have a set winning plan. You don't need them to fuck it up. So let's get a couple Oracle cards here. Spare any other message for Pile 3, please. If you guys want to check out Patreon for $8 a month, I have a ton of picker cards over there. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, information's down below. The waiting game. Yeah, you're going to make this person, like, really, really work for it. It's like you're going to wait and make sure that their plans align with your plans, okay? Because as much as they respect you, you might not respect this person. Shit. They, they're coming in as a, they come in as an emperor and a king of pentacles, but shit, that, that, that might not mean much to you. heartache and loss because you yeah I'm hearing profit and loss because you're not wanting to lose at all you you have set up this whole thing to win in pile three you are the winner okay at the table don't let somebody come in fucking this up I really think you need to get it like 
out there that this person is ready to change. They're willing to do shit that's dramatic to have you, to have this thing. Okay. Victory and success. Exactly. Is there a level of success where yours is? Because we have patience here. And so you're going to have to find out, but it's going to probably go slowly. Um, let's see. How is this person going to be showing you this? Material and spiritual prosperity. That's the six of pentacles. They're going to have to give a lot and receive. They're going to need to prove it. Six of pentacles, all right? That's equal energy exchange here to work with you. Three of pentacles. In order to collaborate, they need to really fucking prove it, guys, because you are set for success. If this person gets involved and they take it, if, if you lose, it's this person. Period. If you lose, it is them. It's not because you have not been set up for success. You have been set up. The spirit world has set this up so fucking beautifully. And so now you're trying to add a third person to the mix or a second person to the mix. And you just need to make sure that they are really fucking secure in who they are, okay? And that they can convince you that they add a lot to the pot. All right, guys. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.